Okay, so we've been running the time USB 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate down there. We put that in right after the ography test straight away. It has been going now for 49 hours and 33 minutes. And the refrigerator, of course, is on right now, pulling a 63-64 watts. And because I don't have a shunt on that battery, as a lot of you have mentioned to me, and I thank you for that, um, I don't get uh, an extremely accurate read on the watt hours drained, but I'm gonna show you anyway and do a little comparison just between those two batteries. So we're at 49 hours of draw down on this battery. It's registered on this uh, 2.066 kilowatt hours. But because I don't have that shunt in, it's not gonna be an accurate read, but there is a little bit of comparison to be made uh, just between this battery already and the uh, Ography. So that battery has a rated value as 2944 watt hours so and the ography for an example had uh, or comparison had 2560 and what I registered on here was uh, 1978 so uh, chances are the ography was uh, working well once I get a, a shunt in place for any future test that'll be dead accurate but I'm really thinking that because of this battery does have the extra capacity, it's gonna be going on for several hours. I'm gonna try and catch it right when it ends, but uh, at 49 hours, we'll see. Uh, it should be uh, going for a few hours at least. At any rate, <clears throat> it's already uh, shown more, even not having the most accurate read on it, it's shown uh, more capacity than the ography. And it's doing fine, doing fine. That little inverter does just fine. <laughs> and that low watt draw is from the refrigerator, not the inverter in standby mode. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. Right on for that. Okay, so I'm liking this. You know, all in all, I gotta say, I love these batteries for, uh, I'll find out whether they truly live up to their specifications over time. Uh, guaranteed I will. But 49 hours and still running on this battery. And I got 52 hours and 26 minutes off the other one. So this one's probably going to go late into the night. I will try to catch it. But at any rate, I'll show you what the end result is. But all running fine. 50 hours in basically. Not bad, a couple of batteries. And the frogs should be waking up here in a minute. Thought I heard one. All right, catch you later. Okay, well we drained the Time USB battery here uh, down to where it cut off and I wasn't able to catch it in real time. It happened while I was sleeping late last night. The last time I looked, uh, this run time was 54 hours. It had been running nonstop, running that refrigerator, which by the way was in full use, being opened and closed all day, every day for this whole series of tests. If I was gonna continue, uh, with this type of an experiment, I could now pull out the Ography, which is pretty well charged on 200 watts of solar, which gives you a good idea that if you just had a couple of batteries and you needed just to switch them out while one was tied up to whatever you needed to run, the other one could be charging. Even with one panel, this experiment could have been extended by many, many days. But for this one, it's tied up to 200 watts of a solar charging station. So the Ography is pretty good uh, charged up. It's been charging for the past couple days while we were draining the USB, the time USB. 
And now when this was drained this morning, I registered a 10.76 volts on it. In comparison to the Ogre Fee, the Ogre Fee, uh, when it was completely drained, registered a, uh, what was it? 11.6. So that one, when it went off, was 11.6 volts. This one here, 10.76. And it went off somewhere between 54 hours. And right there is what I saw it this morning when I got up, or it was kind of middle of the night when I got up and saw that it was off and it had been running for 59 hours. So somewhere between 54 and 59 hours is how much we got out of this, which is still more than that, which is, this one is rated at a, a higher capacity. So uh, just for a very basic demonstration, of course, uh, we know that I didn't have the the proper shunt to measure exact watt hours, but we got a good idea at least how many days we could run. So combined, uh, 52 hours in the back, 52 and a half hours, and at least 54 hours. So we can say that for 106, 107 hours continuous working on that refrigerator, uh, we stayed up in operation. So that gave gives you many days uh, and like I said, if you just had a little extra solar going in, you could just keep extending through your power outage. So both batteries performed very well. We'll get some proper uh, capacity tests done over time when I get the proper equipment. Thank all you guys for keeping me in line on that. Pretty fun test. All in all, pretty fun. Here it is many days later and now got the system uh, tied back into the main house. So here we are back at the 1,000 watts going into the main house bank, which is those Chins batteries. Of course, since we've been running this uh, multi-day experiment with those other batteries in our mock power outage situation and how that could work for you, uh, they have been fully charged the whole time. So the Chins are in great shape, completely full. Kind of a good thing about having some redundancy and being able to move things around. Hope you guys enjoyed the little mock situation I created. Beautiful day here. Have several very large, very ambitious projects uh, happening behind the scenes right now. And I'll be depending on you guys to keep me straight on that too because I'm really going to be stretching the gray matter on the projects coming up. All right everybody, catch you on the next one. Beautiful day. Aloha. Absolutely gorgeous. All systems go.